Hello, everyone. This is your girl, Sonia, with Deliberations with Sonia, and I'm going to jump right into it. This is the 2024 election post-mortem, and yes, there are people walking around here looking like they did. Now, you might wonder, why am I so jovial? Okay? I'm jovial. Because the rest of y'all done caught up with me, okay? Because I've been walking around feeling like the walking dead since when that fool come down the escalator. Okay? So, look. <laughs> my... Blindness with Merca. Okay? This Merca. And it's not going to be America. Until, I don't even know. Anyway, let's deal with this stuff in order. Number one, Kamala Mala, Kamala, she did everything plus a girl could do. Okay? Everything. It is no shame. It should be no shame in her game. And she did what she needed to do. And she did it extremely well with class, talent, and knowledge. Okay? This ain't had nothing to do with Kamala. This had everything to do with the press. And it had everything to do with the Republican Party, the Democratic Party, and, 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 and lack of education in the United States of America. Yes. Because what you all and we all have witnessed Oh, and racism. Y'all know how I'm be liking to just throw the waist guard out the neck and stuff. Like, what, you know, throw out some race cards. <laughs> this man, uh, oh, he has been um, just, just disgustingly insulting. Not even insulting. Okay, this fool has... Move people to riot. People have lost their lives. Quite a few people have lost their lives. People have had their whole everything upended, living in upheaval because of, yeah, him. And then, you know, people just, you being too, I don't mean that. That ain't what it is. All the Latinos and Latinas that voted for him, when he picking up your cousins, she been across the border. Just remember that stimulus check. It was so damn good. Ah, oh my God! And where my where my Middle East people at? <laughs> I can't even laugh because. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Cause he already starting upheaval. The week ain't over yet. And they over in Amsterdam. They But now you want the president of the United States of America. President Joseph R. Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. You want the United States of America, our Department of Defense, to go over to Israel and stop a war that y'all been fighting since before Jesus? And you're going to hold the electorate here accountable? Okay, we're gonna see how this turn out. <laughs> hey, and for the misogynist men, <laughs> oh, there's so much coming for you. So much. Uh, for instance, all of this uh, lack of abortion and let everybody do what they do. Yeah, yeah. So when these young girls 
are getting impregnated by your sons, your family is going to have to pay the child support. Yeah. And I know that's not legislation. Yeah. <laughs> now you want to bring these babies in the world. Pay for their college and their education. Mm-hmm. And all this stuff about, um, yeah, the women, they're going to suffer. Yeah. Well, I think that we're going to need to expand the courts, the domestic courts, the juvenile courts. Because after these babies are born, somebody got to take care of them. And I mean, you know, once it's the <laughs> install who baby it is, hey, you know what I'm saying? Transfer title over to daddy. Because this this person got to go do stuff. Okay, she's got stuff to do. There are active duty women in the military. There are women guarding this country. There are women doing all manner of things. And you're going to tell me as a, a, a woman is the person who carries the baby, that she's got to be the person to care for the baby and leave her life, whatever, like, uh-uh, this is not the milk maze or whatever them things is, whatever they call them. Okay? And for everybody watching this, you need to talk to the people in your state and you need to get legislation so that states where they're um, keeping those abortion laws, y'all need to increase child support, okay? Because cause when them little daughters get pregnant, uh-uh, I, we can't afford that at our house, okay? Your son, your family can't afford it. They going over there, okay? Ain't nobody got time for this. You want to play with people? Then let's play. <laughs> anyway. My so let me get to this misogynist men issue. And this with that little 1% extra of the black men and the Latino men and the men anyway. How pathetic. You have women, mothers like myself, you know, married mothers, for whatever reason, divorced, taking care of children, young men, and um, you mad? You mad because women are educated now? Women are are powerful, making money, doing things, etc. And you mad? <laughs> I gotta come up with a new word. For right now, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, weak lily liver brass. <laughs> I so many weak lily lily liver brass out here. Because what you want to do you're mad because you thought the world was going to be given to you on a silver platter. And it's not. Okay? You really got to put it in the work. You really got to do what it needs to do. You got to make the sacrifices. And as women, we are used to doing that because we're used to taking care of our family. So the hypocrisy of men and a man who says that a woman can't do X, Y, Z, whatever, because you're keeping the food out of a man's mouth, okay? Ain't nobody, no one is stopping in their tracks worried about some weak, lily-livered man and whether or not he's feeling comfortable in his manhood. Because when he goes to work, it's a woman in charge. Instead of being a weak, lily-livered, why don't you step up, stand up, Boss up, educate up, and take the job from her if you if you can't, you know what I'm saying? But if you can't, then sit over there in that corner and enjoy the fruits of the life that the women are providing. I mean, people are so Neanderthal. 
It just boggles the mind. But anyway, I don't want to talk too much on here about none of that. What I really wanted to say was, it is what it is. Welcome to my world. Okay? I hope y'all get y'all stimulus checks, all of y'all who voted for Trump. I hope over the next four years you learn how to read and discern for yourself. I hope you study just basic economics. Just basic. I hope you understand the interconnectedness of this world so that then you could understand the interconnectedness of the supply chain. So what you gonna learn if you're gonna put these herbs on everything so you're gonna get a crash course. Uh Anyway, some may ask me why am I so happy and giddy about this? Because I stopped being mad at Merkel a long time ago. See, this is Merkel. This is not America. This is Merkel. And this is the Merkel where it's us against them. You're taking food out of my plate. You are um the other. Your life doesn't matter. You shouldn't be... One of these low-life little livers to attack the child. See what I'm talking about? I'm an advocate for not just women, not just black people, white people, any people who are underrepresented. People can't fight for themselves, because I'm going to tell you, I ain't tripping. I'm, um... Kamala, Doug Emhoff, rich. She ain't got to do anything. <laughs> she ain't got to do that. But she is going to because she's a public servant. You know, and that's what public servants do. You know, they want to save the world. Even though the world is like, don't save us. We don't want to be saved. And you ain't gonna be. You ain't gonna be. Him. <clears throat> what? Oh, it's already been started. Yes, I am right here, Cleveland, Ohio. And in our community, people were getting text messages. Well, not in my community, but anyway, it was, it was, you know what I'm saying, in the greater Cleveland area. Someone was sending racist texts to black people saying, um, you have until midnight to um, show up at this location and get ready to go. So the FBI and the wedding one, two, threes, they're on it. America, you, 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 you about to open a hornet's nest that you don't. All bets is all. These coalitions for common. 60, 70% of which didn't vote for gamma law. <laughs> Fuck the government, the coalition. Why women for government? Them bitches ain't vote for her. Why men for Kamala? <laughs> Them motherfuckers ain't either. Latinos for Kamala. But for real though? Muslims ain't gonna support Kamala because she won't go and stop the war in Gaza. It's okay. You ain't got the move for Kamala. Will's gonna be wheels up on you. <laughs> I ain't even gonna be able to post this. Anyway, 
Oh, this is deliberations with Sonya, and I'm going to tell you, everything is fine and dandy with me. Everything is calm, cool, and collective in my life. Don't none of this shit affect me. <laughs> my family <laughs> ain't going to affect us one way or the other. No. We live through the Jim Crow South, at least not we. When I say we, I don't mean me collectively or my brother collectively. But yeah, maybe them, but anyway, not me. Okay. But we from the dirty, dirty, okay? This is another day at the fucking office. Oh, nobody give a damn. What about Trump? You just finna get money. Oh, oh, oh. And if you're smart. You better use this time in Merkel to get your funds up. Everybody, African Americans, Native Americans, go uh, Go all the rest of this shit. Just turn the TV off. Just turn the whole TV off. I don't know about it. Unless the aliens show up. I don't even bleak into my TV show. And, uh, well, Russia, don't know. Fuck Russia. Okay? I could send the University of Alabama football team over to Soviet Union and go ahead and get them the weapons and them the armor and they would, like, fuck up the whole fucking country. You can't beat Ukraine. You don't want none of this. We could round up the Vietnam vet, send them over there in that shit, okay? <laughs> so, huh? Here we are. Another. Another president that don't mean good. For black America. <laughs> some stuff you just you just you just can't give energy to. And some of you all are gonna learn. Every time I'm doing something, here you come. <laughs> the video over. Yes, it's over, Queen. It's over. Do I told you you can't be in the video. You always wanna be right, but I'm This is deliberations with Sonia and Queen. Now Queen Crusader. I we and all. You wanna be on the video look at He is stupid. Cut it out, Queen. You are just a friend. I'm wearing a cabinet on the fridge. Cut it out, Queen. Shit. I'm going to go outside. I ain't going to go Quit! Get my damn sweat in there. You're doing too much. I'm gonna whip your ass. You got it.